Hello Grade 5s. Today we're looking at numerators and denominators. Now we've already learnt that the number on the top of a fraction is the numerator. Sorry. And the number at the bottom is the denominator. Now, the denominator tells us how many pieces there are all together. So if you look at my chocolate bar over here, you will see that there are six pieces all together. The numerator tells us how many pieces have been taken. And you can see that I have colored in five blocks. I have taken five blocks of the chocolate. So I have taken five out of six blocks. So remember, the denominator tells us how many pieces there are all together, and the numerator tells us how many pieces have been taken. Let's answer the question underneath that. It says, give three different fractions with five as the numerator. So five as the numerator means that five needs to be at the top. And they are asking me for three different fractions with five as the numerator. So I can put any numbers that I like at the bottom. And there I have given you three different fractions with five as the numerator. Let's change the question to denominators. Give three different fractions with five as the denominator. So the denominator is at the bottom of a fraction. So I can put different numbers on the top and I have got three different fractions with five as the denominator. Easy peasy. Right, let's look at this list of fractions in front of us. For this, I need you to turn to page 191 in your textbook. Page 191. At the top of that page, you will see there is an orange fraction wall. In the fraction wall, they show you how many pieces fit into a hole and you can see the different sizes of the fractions. This fraction wall is going to help us to write these fractions in ascending order. Remember ascending order is from smallest to biggest. So let's look at the fraction wall. You will see that on the bottom row are the twelfths and they are the tiniest fractions. So, one twelfth is going to be our first fraction because it's the smallest. The next smallest will be the sevenths, then the sixths, then the fifths, and lastly the thirds. So, we've given each fraction a number in order from smallest to biggest. Now we need to rewrite it for our answer. So the first one, being the smallest, is the twelfth. Then the second one is the seventh. The third one is the sixth. The fourth one is the fifth. And the last one is the third. So we have written them from the smallest to the biggest. Right, let's look at this little fraction wall that I've drawn on my page. I've given you eighths and I've given you quarters. Now, the first problem, which is this one, asks you to fill one of these crocodiles into the block. So let's look at our fraction wall. Three eighths. One, two, 
three. Three quarters. One, two, three. You can see straight away that three quarters is bigger than three eighths. So your crocodile will face the three quarters. Right, let's look at this last problem on the page. 4 over 8 is equal to 2 over what? You need to fill in the missing denominator. Let's look back at the top at what 4 eighths looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then they want to know what it is equal to. 2 watts. Well, if we look at two quarters, we can see that two quarters is the same as four eighths. So we are going to fill in a four because two quarters is equal to four over eight.